Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our City Skylines After Dark campaign. So, um, let's see. The town is growing sort of at negative two people. That's, that's good. Uh, we have a high demand for residential. Looks like more people want to move in down by the river. Not living in vans, preferably. They like something a little bit more robust than that. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll get rid of that. Pure residential seems maybe questionable. But we'll keep doing it. Got 81,000 ducats in the bank, so... We could totally swing this water tower thing, couldn't we? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do on this campaign. I've decided. I've made the decision. We're gonna have lots and lots, and we're not gonna do this water treatment plant crap. $640 ducats, simoleons, whatever you want to call them. That's actually like an etiquette thing that I'm not sure about. Like, because of, you know, the Sims, Sim 5 and Sim City and all that stuff. Uh, Sims, as S-I-M. In, uh, on Reddit, the, the Red Reddit, subreddit for City Skylines, they, they seem to refer to things as Sims. They call them like C-I-M-S. So when you say Sims, do people get upset because they think you're talking about SimCity 5 or like the SimCity franchise and Maxis and all that? Or do they assume that you're saying Sims like C-I-M-S? And is it still pronounced Sims? Or would it be pronounced like Kims or something? These are my Kims. Like a hard, hard C. Boomtown. Okay, so we can do more stuff. We have uh, access to buses and taxis. Cool. I want to do taxis. We have new roads, intersections, we have the advanced wind, wind turbine. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with those things, I think. But anyway, um, so this thing provides 16, 160,000 meters cubed per week of cleaning. Seems like a lot of money to spend. I bet maybe that's where the math comes into play. Oh, it still does require a water drain pipe. Hmm. Well, now I'm confused. How do water towers... Ah, let's just try it. I want charts and graphs, game. Upkeep negative 216. Is that because I got my budget slightly below 100%? Yeah. Must be. that district just a bit. Like I'm an artist right now. The brush strokes. I'm trying to make it as perfect as I can, but it's difficult. And what, where are you getting all this earth? And where did all this earth come from to raise up your little pathetic houses? Huh? Why do you have no water? Wow, you're right on the edge, huh? Good news is we have 120,000 ducats of buckets, so we could go kind of crazy on some more like decorations and stuff if we wanted to. We could also go into this thing. We could do taxis. So let's take a look at this thing. So we have a taxi depot. Taxi depot works as a garage and a repair shop for the taxi cabs between work shifts. Noise pollution 100. So the taxi depot clearly needs to be away from residential. Um, 
So maybe we could stick it on this in industry loop and just kind of see how that does. Taxis! Oh, and it filled in some of this area here. Oh no, this is a building under construction, never mind. One taxi in use. Okay. So we're spending 160 simoleons or, you know, ducats on taxis. But conversely, you would expect to see tourist income. Where can I see specifically? Like, do I not? I don't. Okay. I'm not gonna actually make money off of tour uh, off of taxis. I'm gonna make money off of the tourism, and there's like no reason for tourism right now. But we can afford to spend that money. We're working three ducats, three three thousand ducats a week. All right. Well, let's cycle through some of our things and just kind of see like maybe how we're doing on stuff. Water looks fine. That looks good. Landfill usage. We have a... We have a landfill. We need an incinerator. Can't build that for quite a while. So looks like we're going to be throwing in another landfill at some point. We do have the funding. We could buy another region. I think I am going to enable at some point... Look at that. You can see the trash. Just... Bleh. Bleh. I think after this this episode, I'm going to go and I'm going to see if I can learn how you're supposed to deal with, um, like, how you actually do that, that dealio, where you don't have water pollution and you just kind of waste your money on slightly less efficient structure. We stick like little uh, commercial things in the center. Little tiny mom and pop shops. I don't know if those could work. Little convenience stores and gas stations and stuff. Strip clubs. Bowling alleys. Tiny bowling alleys with strip clubs in them. A bowling strip alley. It's where it's strip bowling. You have to, every time you get a strike, the your partner has to take off a piece of clothing. It's a real thing, right? It's kind of a cool looking car. So what was that one? Holly Campbell, an uneducated senior. Right, I was going through all of the things. So water's good. Power's good. Landfill usage is getting high. We need either... Well, we, we have some garbage issues. Getting to the end of this line. I vaguely recall, in a, pr in a prior campaign, having like a garbage treatment area. And what I did is I just did a road, and we did a service road, two-lane gravel road. Or was it a one-lane road? Ooh. Four-lane road with bus lanes. A four-lane road with bus lanes supports medium traffic. It says bus and taxi, so I'm assuming when it says bus lanes it means that you can actually use uh, that the the taxis can use the bus lane as well is that right all right we're gonna create like a landfill area for now we can always move them later the whole key is to just have this be off off the primary road so there's like no traffic out there Directly into the farming lands, huh? No, it's not quite there. Wow. 
These people are wanting way more residential than I'm really ready to let this town have. Oh crap, I'm, I'm starting, I'm starting to try to devolve into straight lines and grids. looks horrible. And this is the wrong type of road, is it? No, this is, it's an acceptable road. I will turn this into a loop. I mean, for crying out loud, if you want residential so bad, you can have it. A dead person is waiting. Someone died and they immediately abandoned the building. I don't think I've actually built a cemetery yet. We have a medical clinic, yes. We might want to build one down here. And I suppose we could give them some place to bury the dead. People like cemeteries. Don't know why. Temporary power fluctuations. Uh, we did unlock the the better the, the water boy based ones, and we have the ability to buy. You know what? I don't really have access to a lot of water, do I? We can't make these things in just like seven. Yeah, that's kind of crap. We could make them out here. It's just that they're. Not very good. 20 if we go all the way over there. Well, what if we bought more region space? I know there's water. Somewhere out there. It's Looks like we only have like water on one edge. So if we really wanted to get to that body of water over there, I'd have to buy probably one, two, three tiles. And I'd be spending three tiles of construction area just to get the ability to use that type of power that I want. Well, eventually solar is just as good. And if anything, we could do, um, you know, hopefully eventually we could do a hydropower plant. If you can get the hydropower plant at 1600 watts, that is like the cheapest power there is. But as we talked about earlier, I guess I don't really care too much about power, like efficiency, because... Money's not actually that hard to come by in this game, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. I should clearly, you know, design a better city before we worry too much about money. Thing looks horrible. Pretty sliced fruit. I would not want to eat fruit. It came from that. Alright, do we have access to any of the cool new like district things that like turn them into uh nighttime? Uh that's like a city planning thing, isn't it? We don't get to do that yet. Increased police budget, slightly increased tax income, moderately increased tourism. Yeah, sure. 
legalize it. As long as we're making a profit, I don't mind spending money on policies and things. Okay, they want more commercial. Let's go see. Did they build stuff here? Yeah, they sure did. They're all about it. We ended up with a pop soda on the corner. Build away. That's really not a lot of zoning, what I just did. This whole center strip, why not? Wow, that looks so cool. It really looks nice. I love what they've done. Disconnected power grids. Check if your power grid has divided into multiple separate power grids. Oh, okay. How'd that happen? Oh, is it because of you? No, the whole thing's connected. I think we're actually just having some power issues. Yeah, we're not producing enough. And, uh... Let's see, 14 megawatts? for... I mean, that's not that... Mm, let's see, it's... so we're paying 200 a week. We want price per megawatt, so 200 divided by 14. We're paying 14 ducats a week per megawatt, if we do that. And if we do the... Ah, shoot. I clicked in the game and it immediately placed it. I didn't actually expect it to do that. I was just trying to get back into the game. Well, looks like we're buying one now. It was like 14 per megawatt, right? The other one was how much? At best, we're getting 8, so we're looking at... Uh... 80 divided by 8. 10 bucks per megawatt. Yeah, that thing is not very efficient. Should have. Wouldn't have built it had I finished my math, but. Once we get it up to. If we could find a location where we could get it up to 20, then we're looking at. Yeah, I guess it's, it's actually the same ratio, isn't it? It's 10, 10 bucks per one. You can just see the math right there 20 for 200 versus 10 for. Sorry, 8 for 80. I guess the difference, the reason why I used to prioritize these is that they were cheap and they were out of the way. We don't actually have access to a large body of water, so I guess we're going to stick with probably wind. It's going to require a lot of them. Hmm. Well, the suburbs are filling up. We're going to have some traffic issues soon if I don't start to actually maybe put some more thought and effort into how we're going to do these residential bands. This is where, like, the grid format suddenly starts to just call to me.
That looks rather hideous, don't you think? It's okay. I think we're going to need more, like, elementary and more police. Basically, just lots and lots more services if we're going to keep on growing the city. It's coming along all right. It's kind of got a weird feel to it. It's not a grid. That's nice. And the monies keep on coming in, which is quite nice. Why isn't the, the local PD or the local guy doing anything, anything to stop the fires? We didn't just permit recreational use in this one place, did I? I thought that was the citywide policy we did. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, for now, I'm going to take a short break here. I definitely look forward to seeing you again in the next video. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.